who's event bridge and integrated with other services on aws so apart from aws event bridge we'll be playing with s3 bucket lambda functions and uh, ec2 instance uh, at least for this tutorial so the plan is to uh, create an event create a lambda function create an ec2 instance and also create a bucket so once we create a bucket and we drop something an event should be triggered and that event should fire up a lambda function in which we can start or stop the ec2 instance this is, is the shortest tutorial i can come up with to test e event bridge so let's get started with that so first we'll create a lambda function I've already created my rules so you can if interested I can create a separate tutorial on IAM but uh, for this I have already created a role Mingo this was uh, this easy and you can also subscribe uh, to the channel and look uh, to the video that I've created a short as a shortify video for lambda functions it should be flashing on top so for this we have created a lambda function now we'll be making few changes in order to uh, accommodate EC2 start and stop. So, and one uh, information: this role already contains the uh, the permissions for starting or stopping the EC2 instances. Uh, so make sure when you create a role, you also add those permissions, uh, EC2 start and stop perm uh, uh, permissions, just to uh, make it happen from the Lambda function. For this we are going to use Boto3, we will create a client, once you create a client we will write a simple code for start or stop with EC2 instances so we will get a response and here we can see EC2 got start, let's say stop instance, stop instances and inside it it takes instance IDs so uh, if you do not know from where to get started with this you can just quickly write boto3 uh, ec2 and you will be getting all the documentation here and from here you can just subscribe to any of the service uh, so we are doing stop instances so you can search for stop you will be getting stop instances and you can just go and uh, copy this code so let's just go ahead and copy this code uh, so we're gonna replace this with this formatting okay so for now we will be removing these other things we do not require that okay so uh, so it takes a list of strings and strings should be instance id so let's just go ahead and create an ec2 instance so for that you can type in ec2 and yeah so we can start this one we can launch an instance you can add it this instance aws you can select any of the key vpc we do not require public ip we can select existing group i've already created these resources voila so we have an instance which says test instance yeah, and it's pending let us wait for it to start so meanwhile it gets start so now we already have the instance id we can just copy this instance id and go back to our lambda function and place this instance id here we'll replace this uh, with instances stop and deploy so once we have deployed it now it's time to create an event so for that uh, the hero of this uh, tutorial let's go to event bridge so 
so by default uh, you have one uh, one event bus created for you if you want to create another bus to handle different source of events different schemas different registry then you can do that but i'll be using the default one for this tutorial we have to go to rules and here there is an option of for selecting an event bus as i'll be using the default one so i'll keep it as it is create a rule here you have to give a name of the rule so i'll give it lambda trigger once you have it you can give it a cool description if you want uh, otherwise just leave it next you have to be selecting this option aws events or event bridge partners we're gonna skip this and we're gonna use uh, this option creation method use pattern from so aws is cool enough to provide you major of the services and patterns required to trigger that event so as we have decided to trigger an event on an object creation in s3 bucket we'll go ahead and search for s3 and for event type i'll be selecting all events so this is the event pattern so this basically means that in any of the bucket in the account if there is uh, there is an object created uh, then this event will be fired up you can also limit this event if you want to have it for like just uh, like few of the services or you do not want to uh, make it wide open for all the buckets so you just need to uh, select this option a sample event and this will give you a json file so here you can see you can provide resources uh, where exactly your bucket is and you can provide all other uh, pieces of information that is there a specific folder where you want to create that event or like on complete bucket so we have this option just need to co copy this and paste it here but for now we are going to go with this one and you need to hit on next now on this step it says select targets so the target is our lambda function because as soon as an object is dropped an s3 bucket a lambda function will be started or triggered so we'll be ser we'll search for lambda function and after that it will ask for which lambda function so i have we have created this test lambda uh, so we'll let's go ahead with this one just leave it this for now this gives you a summary of what you have created and bingo so rule is created it's enabled now it's time to test so for that uh, what we need to do is we need to go to s3 bucket so i have already created this bucket shortify bucket for us uh, to spare time so one thing that you have to enable if you if you are using specifically sc service you have to go to properties tab and if you go down uh, you have to find this event notification tab and this will usually be off if amazon event bridge if you turn this off then there will be no event fired up because uh, the event bridge won't monitor the s3 bucket for any incoming events so you need to edit this permission make it on save the changes and now you are good with uh, the sending the events so objects so for for this purpose we are going to start dropping uh, an object but if this is going to be a but before that let's see how our instance is doing so our, our instance is running our instance is running and our code says that our instance will get stopped uh, as soon as an object is uh, uploaded so let's go ahead and upload an object so i have few sample images here let's do it guys so on successful upload as it is here this instance should stop sometime it takes a while to do that we'll just wait for it okay we'll check whether the lambda was deployed correctly or not is oh okay so now uh, as we copied the code we did not replace this one so this says ec2 but um, this one is our client name is ec2 uh, and 
this was saying client so now we have deployed it so now let's just re-upload bingo so the event has fired up successfully it says stopping so that means uh, we have triggered the event so this is so reliable and uh, uh, convenient as well so you can create as many events as you want for different kind of operations there is no limit for it and this is pretty much uh, a cool service uh, to have it if you are working serverless and this is a serverless service as well